was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon, to sort the clues based on my interpretation, to change that which I observed. It was all a play, shadows on the wall of the cave, an echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? in a performance set up for someone else. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. I needed to get inside the manuscript. For months, after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened. By the confusion. The shock. The... The guilt. Fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Alice's work had consumed the apartment. Her whole life.
one morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon it just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image. The horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. There was something in the dark, something I needed to see, to show shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that, that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. manuscript of a novel return a horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place taking over bright falls i couldn't remember writing it i had not written it i would never write this i knew who had scratch a monster with my face if this story came true scratch would get out people would die destroying the manuscript it wouldn't stop it from happening i would have to fix it edit it I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. <laughs> 